This is a, a, a story I've told uh, many times at feasts and such, and it's a, a very efficient story because it has, it's rather short, but it has multiple morals. So the story is a young swallow was hatched in, uh, out in the spring and spent the glorious summer chowing down on all great number of bugs and flies and, and such. And then the elder uh, swallows told, started talking about getting organized for the great flight south. The swallow hmm, really see the need to because there's lots of bugs around and you know it's warm and you know it's all it's all good. And started getting a little cooler and the swallows just gathered in the great swarms and flocks and and started preparing for the great flight south and the swallow looked around and said, well, there's still lots of bugs around and if they all leave. There'll be more bugs for me. So it'll, it'll all be good. I don't have to care. So comes the fall and the great swarms of, of the swallows bugger off down south. And our young swallow, yeah, for a little while, there's still lots of bugs and he's got them all to himself. It's starting to get a little chilly, but he's got lots of bugs. So, you know, that, that's all good. But then it gets a little colder and all the bugs disappear and he starts to get a little worried and, you know, it's, it's, it's you know, getting a little bit uncomfortable and a little bit thin on the, on the bones. So finally the swallow decides, well, maybe it's best to admit defeat and start heading south. So he gallantly takes off and Heads, heads south, but there's this wall of storm and, and such, and, and it's cold, and it's big, wet flakes of snow and wind going every which way, and so every time, he eventually doesn't even know if he's flying south, north, east, or west, and he's getting cold and wet, and it's getting harder to fly because he hasn't had a decent bug in a week and, and finally it just doesn't have the strength anymore falls like a wet lump into a cow paddock and there he's lying in, in, in the snow and he's shivering and such and, well cow wanders off and the cow's chewing off the tops of the grass that are sticking up through this thin snow on the ground and what goes in one end comes out the other. And a great steaming cowpat lands on the swallow. He's warm for the first time in weeks. He's warm. And so he sticks his head out of the steaming hot cowpat and he starts to sing for joy that he's warm. And, well, little barnyard cats attract sound of the singing comes over, digs him out of the cow pot, kills him and eats him. It's a tragic story but it has four mottos. One, if everybody is doing something, they may know what, why they are doing it. Two, not everybody that that shits on you is your enemy. Three, not everybody that gets you out of shit is your friend. And the last motto, if you're warm and happy and sitting in a pile of shit, keep your mouth shut. <laughs>